You know, the very uh, strange weather um, that we're having around the world in, in New York, uh, these incredible uh, cold spells that we have had. Uh, who had ever heard of the vortex in New York, right, before, before that weird weather? The incredible heat that Australia has suffered, the floods in the UK, and you name it, it goes on and on and on and on. There's no country that has been exempted. These very strange extreme weather events are going to continue both in their frequency and in their severity. It's not that climate change is going to be here in the future. We are experiencing climate change. This Arctic blast could see America reach its coldest temperatures in decades. Millions of people across a huge swathe of the country are being advised to hunker down while the so-called polar vortex does its worst. Minnesota could be hardest hit with wind chills set to make it feel like an astonishing minus 50 Celsius. The polar plunge has struck unusually far south. In Oklahoma, the rotating pool of freezing air is producing rarely seen temperatures. The inside of the New York to Washington DC train iced up. Try opening the window in Chicago and you'll get this. 35 below zero, right in your living room. It's so cold, Lake Michigan looks more like a hot tub. The water outside Chicago warmer than the frigid air, and ice already forming along the banks. Images of water turning to ice before it reaches the bottom. Parts of Niagara Falls have become frozen. South as Texas and here in Elk City, Oklahoma, heavy snow is falling. This is unusual even for winter. This weather combination that we're seeing right now with all of the snow and the cold is unlike anything that we've seen in decades. And I, I can't emphasize that enough. The cold really scares me. And as such that we will have temperatures that are potentially deadly or certainly life altering temperatures. Hundreds of flights continue to be canceled, leaving passengers stranded. While on the coast, not far away, seawater, which flooded some communities during the storms, has now frozen over, marooning people there too. Severe, pervasive and irreversible, words used in a new UN report about the likely impact of global warming. Amid extreme weather worldwide, experts say the health, economic prospects and food and water sources of billions of people are at stake. It's everything from droughts to rising sea levels. We're not in an era where climate change is some kind of a, a future hypothetical. We live in a world where impacts of climate change are widespread and consequential. We see impacts from the equators to the poles and from the coast to the mountains. There's no question that we live in a world that's already altered by climate change. Powerful waves have continued to pound Europe's Atlantic coastline. Two people are now feared dead in the French holiday resort of Biarritz after they were swept out to sea. The town's famous promenade was battered during the night, leaving many businesses to pick up the pieces on Tuesday morning. The surge wasn't isolated to France. A large stretch of Europe's Atlantic coastline was hit by high tides, including Portugal and the Spanish region of Galicia. At least one person is now known to have died in Spain, with two others still unaccounted for. In Portugal, this amateur footage showed one man's desperate attempt to save his car, just managing to escape in the nick of time. Elsewhere, near the capital Lisbon, the swell was so bad, huge pools of foam like this started washing up along the shore.
An earthquake of around seven magnitude has struck China's far western region of Xinjiang. It's the earthquake that shook central New Zealand, including the capital, Wellington. The minute-long 6.3 magnitude rolling. Thousands of residents woke with a bang this morning after a series of earthquakes rocked the state. Many have told of their fear and confusion as the shock waves rumbled through the suburbs. Tremors and shakes were felt right across Metro Adelaide. We have very few this close to Adelaide that are of uh, this magnitude, so it is more unusual. South Carolina and Georgia got a bit of a shake last night. An earthquake with a preliminary magnitude of 4.1 shook homes and rattled residents' nerves. It's the second largest earthquake to ever hit the state. A 6.9 earthquake hitting off the coast of Eureka. Already four aftershocks. Chile has ordered an evacuation of parts of its northern coast following an earthquake with a magnitude of 7.0, jolted an area 35 kilometers north. Oh, big oh. earthquake. Big earthquake right now. Big earthquake. That's okay. a really strong shaker yeah. right it's now. Very big. I still feel it. Are you still feeling it? Yeah. Well, it's, Steady it's shaking still there. Shaking. My hands are no, shaking. A 4.4 magnitude earthquake has shaken Los Angeles. This is the second quake to hit the state in a week. This is the strongest quake to hit the city since the last aftershocks of the 1994 Northbridge quake. The United States Geological Survey said there could be a 5% chance of another strong quake within the next three days. Local residents in Nova Scotia and New Brunswick woke up to a bit of a surprise when a giant fireball illuminated Canada's skies early on Tuesday morning. CCTV captured the incredible moment when a bright burst of light lit up the sky. The fireball, which is thought to be a meteorite, could also be seen from Nova Scotia, where eyewitnesses said they saw bright lights in the sky and heard a loud noise like thunder at around 5 a.m. local time. Are there any injuries? Yes, there's people yelling for help. A desperate call to the emergency services as a deadly tide of mud and rock crushed everything in its path. Houses were swept off their foundations, trees keeled over, and people were sucked into the sea of mud like quicksand. 24 people are confirmed dead and 170 others are still missing. It's believed a small earthquake may have triggered the tragedy. It's like a war zone up there. People finding children, people finding babies. And while the task of finding bodies is already so grim, some have had the even more unimaginable trauma of finding only partial remains. The slide hit with such force that oftentimes the rescuers are not recovering full intact victims. A massive turnout by the emergency services personnel uh, going through their districts checking. Uh, a lot of rolling going on down here. My family lives down here in Orange County. They said it was quite violent. It went on for quite a while, so a pretty good shaker coming through. A 5.1 magnitude earthquake shook Los Angeles, triggering a rock slide. This is actually the second noticeable earthquake that this area has had in just the past two weeks. And since the earthquake hit, there have been more than 100 aftershocks, including one that was 3.4 just a short time ago. The ground shook just after 9 Friday night. We might be experiencing, I should say, an earthquake here. And seismologists are particularly worried about this quake because they think this fault may be reawakening. We haven't heard from this particular fault, they don't think, in several decades. The reason they really don't want to see this fault wake up again, it runs right through downtown L.A. Yeah, the second largest city in the country, Ryan. This footage shows a rare tornado that ripped through Northern California, damaging dozens of homes while debris smashed windows and ripped holes in walls and left residents of the city of Roseville in shock over the unusual event. A magnitude quake hit the northern part of Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming. It shook the ground at about 5.30 this morning, California time. It was felt in towns along the Montana-Wyoming border, including West Yellowstone. This morning, 
tsunami sirens blaring. Chaos as an 8.2 magnitude earthquake rocks the coast of Chile. Driving almost a million people to evacuate their homes. Fires burning after a six-foot tsunami followed the quake. The shockwaves were felt hundreds of miles away, shaking buildings as far away as Bolivia and Peru. People are dead and many more injured. For the past seven days, more than 1,700 earthquakes worldwide, we do still have tsunami advisories. The earthquake even triggered microscopic seismic measurements in New York's Central Park. There have already been more than two dozen aftershocks. In just the past two weeks, hundreds of earthquakes have been shaking Chile's far northern coast. Just about 24 hours ago, there has been another strong earthquake off northern Chile, and the emergency office there has ordered preventive evacuation of the coastline in the north of the country. There's a magnitude a quake, magnitude 7.4 offshore. Latest official report on climate change that says it is underway, and we are already suffering the effects. Here in Australia, air and ocean temperatures are increasing, with waters off our east coast amongst the fastest warming in the world and deadly algal blooms. And rainfall is expected to decline across southern New South Wales and Victoria. We should have five seasons in Australia, adding a second spring, basically shortening autumn and winter by two months. The dangers of climate change are set to get much worse. Australia can expect more intense rain and drought, greater bushfire danger and worse cyclones. Warming across every state, every territory and every season in Australia. Is the superstorms bringing nations to their knees? The searing sun turning the earth into a tinderbox, leaving the ground cracked by drought and the crashing waves of rising seas. But it seems this extreme weather isn't random. A UN report says this is climate change and things are only going to get worse. We have reasons to believe that if the, the extent of climate change continues to increase, then the very social stability of human systems could be at stake. Today's report is somber reading. Rising temperatures and changing weather could mean more crops fail so food is scarce. Wildlife will face extinction. Rising sea levels could make water undrinkable, with flooding forcing millions from their homes. And the threat of war will rise as people fight for resources. US President Barack Obama has warned Russia that any military intervention in Ukraine would lead to unspecified costs. There are reports of Russian troop movements from and into Ukraine's Crimea region. We are now deeply concerned by reports of military movements taken by the Russian Federation inside of Ukraine. One of the world's most deadly infectious diseases is spreading across parts of West Africa. The country is facing an unprecedented epidemic of Ebola. An epidemic of an extent that's never been seen. The president of Guinea has urged the people not to panic. Its movement across Guinea makes it more serious than any previous epidemics. The strain can kill up to 90% of its victims.
parece uma bomba atômica. É, né? O formato. Parece uma bomba atômica. What's up guys and welcome to 5 most mysterious videos caught on camera. The last video didn't do too well so I probably might not do that again, I'll, I'll, I'll see how it goes. Comment down what you like to see and what you don't like to see and yeah, enjoy the video. In this video we see a very mysterious man walking past a mirror in a shop. Now I'm going to let you see it for yourself but do you think this is fake, do you think this is real, do you think it's a glitch from the camera? Comment down below and yeah, enjoy. Now this video is captured in Hawaii, it was a mysterious exploding ball of light caught on camera, enjoy. Now I know this clip is in every single mysterious video on YouTube, but it is very mysterious, uh, yeah so enjoy.
In this fourth video, we see a very mysterious creature, which I think looks like Bigfoot, walking down a hill. Comment down what you think it is, and yeah, enjoy. In this last video, we see Hillary Clinton try and get into a car. Now it zooms in and a little bit of a metal object falls from her leg. This could be anything, it could be a coin, it could be anything, but it does look a bit mysterious. So yeah, comment down below what you think it could be. Hi Saints, I hope you're having a good evening. I wasn't sure if you were aware of this broadcast or this news article that um, a huge meteor struck, was seen over the Queenland skies. Now I'm going to show you this. And I'm not going to leave the link below. Um, the name, the article is by Fiona Keating and this was September 26th. I might leave the link below. And it was, this is a, um, in the UK. And uh, it says a huge fireball. You see that? It was seen over Queensland, um, Australia. Okay? They're not talking about this on the mainstream media news here in the United States. The police reported receiving this or seeing this. Eyewitnesses say it was a ball of flame from falling from the sky. Okay, and uh, this caused um, this caused power outages in Australia. And again, they're not even talking about this in uh, Australia at all. I mean, over in the, they're not talking about this here in the United States. Here's another article that I'm going to bring up about it as well. Here they say possible meteorite. No, it was a meteorite. I mean, you can't be... You know, you can't... You definitely, definitely cannot miss this. I'm going to try to play this video clip. This is the Courier Mail. And something strange has gone on near Gladstone in Queensland overnight with hundreds of people seeing a flash of light like this in the sky. Wait for it. There it is, followed by a tremor. Geoscience Australia has ruled out an earthquake and there's an online theory it may have been a meteorite. Queensland police have taken to social media to joke that maybe the X-Files would be the best to investigate what caused the mystery event. It's not a meteorite. I mean, it's not a theory. It's a fact. Okay? Flash of light. So that's two different sources. Hang on, you guys. It's a lot of flooding. 
anyway. Um, yeah, so. They're not going to tell you this in the mainstream media news. Some say oh. independent experts have looked at One what second, I've proposed and looked at what Donald's proposed. And basically they've said this, that if his tax plan. Sorry, I wasn't trying to put up anything about the debate. I know the debates tonight, but I'm not even watching that. Here's one about the, the power outages. Asteroid smashes deep Australia. Power outages, apocalyptic, apocalyptic signs. Okay, I know that's Paul Begley right there, but God will use evil agents to do his will too. meaning to bring something like this across. Here's another article about the... about what happened with Australia. Let me see if this is the right article. No, it's about rapture. Bear with me one second, I apologize. <clears throat> So it's different sources that are reporting on this, okay? So here's another one. So like I said, it caused um, power outages. I'm going to play his video clip for you again. I do not promote this man as any kind of prophet, okay? I don't watch his channel. You saw me Google this and search for it, see, in the search engine, okay? Um, but it is correct. An asteroid did hit Australia. Watch this. And again, I don't promote him as a prophet. I'm going to make that clear. He is a false prophet. Okay? But God will use evil agents to do his will. So the only thing that I agree on is, yes, there was an asteroid that hit Australia. And also, there was also, um, there was also a uh, power outages there. Now, the reason why I say that there were power outages is because I have subscribers in Australia, okay, and a few of them have confirmed that there are power outages that are going on there. They can't call out, but they were able to send a pro at least comment to me in a private message. Here we go. Are you serious? Are you serious? Okay, guys, we, we give you some more details on this deep, deep impact. Asteroids! This, he, he doesn't have a sense of humor, so skip that little, that little act. We've been telling you the last few days that the, the Chinese told us 10 days ago that there was a killer asteroid coming. And they don't know what to do. They told us the name of it, even 2009 ES. But they don't tell us when it's coming, where it's at, how close, will it hit us, nothing. Okay, NASA acknowledges that that asteroid exists. Um, we just had a deep, deep impact. Uh, just hit Australia, off, just off the coast, in the uh, Coral Sea. Matter of fact, it literally, there's power outages. Homes were shaken. It registered on the Richter scale. People thought for sure it was a major earthquake. The light flashed, lit up the world, and um, and uh, hundreds of people calling in to the uh, nine one, you know, calling into the emergency, calling in everywhere to the media, and we know that uh, Russia's turned their missiles toward the sky. They want to blow the incoming asteroids, which are more and more all the time. This thing wasn't even on the screen. NASA didn't even have this one listed. Okay, guys, never a straight answer. You have to hear me. Now, I agree with him there that there's never a straight answer, okay? NASA, you can't trust them. Like I told you before, last year, there was an asteroid, that, a killer asteroid that came within 75,000 miles of the Earth, and NASA reported it two days after. 
So you can't believe what comes out of NASA's mouth because they definitely didn't see this asteroid coming. We have entered a galactical belt and there's more and more meteors, asteroids that are on the way. And we're So I'm not trying to fear cause people in you in you you know, cause fear, I'm sorry, in you people, but if that asteroid is out there, it makes you wonder how many more are out there. Okay? These are the signs of the times that Jesus Christ is coming. He said that there's gonna be signs in the earth, signs on the moon, the stars, heaven, below, signs everywhere. That he was going to be sending you more signs, and I believe this is a sign that he sent. Another one. Talk. And no, God did not cause the asteroid. I'm just saying he said there's going to be signs in the stars. God was very clear. That's what I mean when I tell you this. And some big boys. What do you think the White House last week announced that an, a, a deep impact is inevitable? And earlier this year, they opened what they call the Armageddon office. And NASA is sending up a probe in the year 2021 to go way out there and find this huge asteroid in which they want to grab a boulder off of it and ride along beside it and hope that the gravitational pull will nudge it just a hair so that it doesn't hit us. All right, even though it's 100 years away, it doesn't matter. That's just one. We've got a situation developing that the Bible said would. All right, now get this. This meteor smashes into Australia. People are left terrified. They thought it was the coming apocalypse. But they don't know who oh, is it is. It's now, I'm going to stop here. Like I said, I agree with him about NASA, and you can't trust them. That they will not tell you everything. If there's one asteroid out there that, like this that they didn't detect, you're pretty sure that there's many more. Pretty sure that there's asteroids out there that they don't even know nothing about, and I don't even think that they're watching for this type of stuff. Like I said, I don't promote him as a prophet. He is a false prophet, okay? I don't promote him at all. He's like no different than Anita Fuentes, okay? I don't promote him at all, okay? But I agree with what he says regarding the fact that NASA doesn't say anything. That if there's this asteroid out there, that there's got to be more, okay? Now, if you go to Revelation chapter 8, verse 9, I'm not saying that this is the same asteroid, okay? But it is prophesied on Jesus Christ's appointed time. A huge asteroid will hit the earth. It is prophetic. There's Revelation chapter 8. If you scroll down to Revelation chapter, I mean, Revel, um, verse 8, it says, and the, second, um, and the second angel sounded, and as it were a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea, and the third part of the sea became blood. Now, brothers and sisters in Christ are having visions and dreams about this. Now, I'm not saying don't test the spirits. You test the spirits, most definitely. But this is an indicator that we are in the last days. This is, this is prophetic. Now, although this asteroid here is not the one prophesied in, in Revelation chapter 8, verse 9, okay? But it's a prerequisite. This is what's telling you is to come, that that's going to happen. We are going to be hit by a huge asteroid. When is it going to happen? I don't know. Okay, I, I really don't know, but it's prophesied in the Bible. God didn't give you a spirit of uh, fear. He gave you a spirit of courage, okay? But it's prophesied in the Bible, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this was a huge asteroid, and there's, I believe, you know, hey, there's more out there. NASA's not going to tell you anything. Like, NASA, NASA didn't even see this coming. They didn't even see it coming, okay? And they're not going to tell you anything. Okay, they're going to always keep her from you. Okay, um, Yahushua, Jesus Christ, will give signs before his return. He will give signs of what must happen. Matthew 24, remember that, okay? Um, he talks about, uh, the, you go to Matthew 24, the Lord will go through the signs there, okay? Um, the Lord, Jesus Christ, okay, did not appoint the bride of Christ to wrath okay he did not appoint the bride of christ to wrath whoever the bride of christ is he didn't appoint the bride of christ the christ excuse me for the wrath so when the wrath takes place the bride of christ will be taken out of the way 